When utilizing audiences in your search strategy, there's one area of the setup that can get a little bit confusing, and it's where the interface asks you if you want to do observation or targeting. And there's a good reason for using each of them, but you might want to use them for different and specific strategies. So today I want to talk through what the observation and targeting settings mean and how you might use them in your campaign strategy. In the Google Ads interface, when you go to add an audience to your campaigns, you're going to see the targeting and observation settings here. They try to give you a little bit of a rundown of what that would look like. So observation says that get reports on additional items without narrowing the search of your campaign, whereas targeting means that you're going to narrow the reach of your campaign to reach specific audiences. In some instances, that can be a little bit confusing. So I've made a couple of graphics. Don't be mad at my design skills. They're not very good, but hopefully it still gets the point across. The first is for observation. Basically what this means is that when you target an in-market audience, as an observation layer in your campaign, everybody in the all search traffic purple area will still be able to find their way into your campaign if they search for your keywords. But you will then also target people on a separate data line item in the interface for somebody who's specifically in the in-market audience or that pink area of the campaign. So you're targeting everybody in this entire Venn diagram, but there's a subsegment of people in an in-market audience. So in the Google Ads interface, this is what it'll look like. You can see here I have a number of in-market audiences off to the left is where the name is. And down here at the bottom, you can see the total filtered audiences have about $9,500 in spend. The total campaign, on the other hand, has about $27,000 in spend. So what this means is I can start to see the performance for audiences as a whole that I've filtered for, but I can also see individual in-market audiences for autos and vehicles, home and garden, and see the performance of them within this campaign. We can then utilize ad customizers to adjust the ad copy for somebody in one in-market audience versus the other, or we can use the bid modifiers to either increase or decrease the bids on these individual in-market audiences based on how they're performing against the total campaign as a whole. So in this instance, you can see that the in-market audiences actually have a slightly better cost per conversion than the campaign total. They're at about $42 campaign total is about 45. So we're able to optimize just a little bit on those audiences. Now targeting is a little bit different. This is what we might want to use for an RLSA campaign where we do want to get a little bit more restrictive with who we're targeting in the campaigns. Here's how that Venn diagram would look if we're using only the targeting setting. Everything in the all search traffic purple area is now gray because those are users that we will not be targeting. We will only be targeting folks in the pink remarketing audience circle. So when we start to go into our campaigns, the data in there will look a little bit different. When you go into the interface and you look at performance, you'll see that the single audience that we have in here, the total cost to this and the total performance is the same as all audiences because we only have one audience in this campaign. And it also matches the total performance for the campaign because we have this set up as a targeting layer. So nobody outside of our audiences will reach within this campaign. We will not target any additional users outside of these audiences. If you have any more audiences layered in here, whether it's more remarketing audiences or in-market audiences or any other groups, the sum total of their performance will total up into this total audiences row. And that will always match the campaign row in a targeting audience campaign. And that's it. Just remember that observation targeting means that you'll still target everybody that would normally come through your search campaign, but you'll have a different line item to see how your audiences are performing. Whereas with targeting, you're only targeting the people in those audiences and nobody outside of that will see your ad. So just make sure that's the setting that you want to use as if you were using an RLSA campaign or something like that. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.